What's up YouTube, Zombie Smasher 14 here, and today I'll be bringing you another deck profile for Y Schwartz. This time it's a Mono Red Kyoko Sakura deck. This deck is one of my favorites next to my Sayaka Miki deck, mainly because this one is more of a beat house than my Sayaka Miki kind of like a it's my Sayaka Miki deck is more of a kind of like it's a beat house deck but it sometimes can uh, not function properly if you aren't getting the right cards or your opponent is literally beating your face in this deck more so beats opponents faces in too so we're gonna start off with the level zeros I play four Farewell to Nightmare Kyokos. They are my assist cards. They grant all my characters in front plus 500. And then when I reveal a climax, I choose a character to give it 1000. These things are really good in case um, my characters are doing poorly and it's like Miracle Draw Climax. Oh, s give, that, give this one character 1k. Next, I play three Magical Girl Tea Parties. These are kind of like my level one salvagers of the, of the game. When they come into play, I pay one, ditch a card, or ditch a character, uh, choose a character, give it 1k, and upon um, when I reverse a character, I can salvage. Basically, I can use this at any point in the game to give myself uh, an extra salvage ability just in case if I need it for next turn. Then I play four Mile Autumn Days Kyoko. They are my, uh, my 1500 Suiciders uh, with Shift. These are really good because uh, usually I get bad uh, cards in my hand and I just clock this, grab two, and then shift it out with no problem. Then I have my 2K Suiciders. Kyoko parts in the subway are just the generic 2K Suicider. Nothing special. For my level 1 game, I play the Puella Maggie Holy Quintet Kyoku. They uh, grant all my characters in front plus a level of 500, and she has a change. Pay 1 at the beginning of your draw phase. If you paid the cost, you now can change into an Unyielding Girls Kyoku. Next, I play four Doubt Towards the World Kyoko. They are my level one Suiciders. Uh, if character is level one or lower, su uh, gets reversed. Upon when I get reversed, I choose one of my characters and I give it fifteen. I give it fifteen power, uh, fifteen hundred power till end of turn. Then I play the somewhat of my main beat beaters in the game, aggressively hostile Kyoko. Uh, they have hand on core, and I rest the character to give it 15. Basically, these are really good because they're good on my turn, but usually I would have to either hand on core or use. Uh, I would have to use a backup. Then I play two Kyoko Arrive backups. They're the generic uh, level one zero cost 15k backup or 1500 backup. Then I play two Town with No Way Out events. Pay one. 
salvage a card and then give it and choose a character to give it uh to give it one K. For my level twos I play a Newton Girl Sag uh not Sayaka Kyoko. Usually I like to use the change for these, but if necessary I will uh I think I eat a I think I just discard a card. It's, yeah, so I pay to discard a card. If I don't, they go to the mem they go to the, the waiting room and then they have a climax combo with the gate with the gate. When I attack, I pay one salvage a character and she gains 15 until the end of my opponent's next turn. So they become 11 Ks without assists. With assists, they usually become 11 fives or even 12 Ks. Then I play two Kyoko in the alley. These are my uh, frontal 1K assists, and they have change for the. For the level three, and then I play one exterminating nightmares Kyoko. Pay one, give it uh, twenty five hundred backup. But if I pay the extra two, I can and kill off one of my characters. I can anti change. So anti-change is if your opponent has a card that's higher than its actual current level, you kill that card off. Basically these are what change the game for me, mainly because people, players will, uh, if I'm fighting say a Miku deck, they change it level 2, they have a uh, early play level 3. Attack on Titan has a bunch of them with the Mikasa and the Head Titan. Basically, I just usually this is situational because I usually salvage this card or I draw into it, but it's basically it. For my level 3 game, I play 3 Kyoko Sakuras. When they come in by hand or by change through this card, I salvage a character and then she has an act. I pay one, rest two of my characters, and granting her the power when I re uh, give her 2k and then when I reverse I put, the, uh, put that reverse character on top of my opponent's deck. And then to finish up our level threes I play four institutional girl Sayakas. Uh, comes into play, heals, uh, on attack, pay two, ditch a card, burn for one. Basically, these card, uh, this this type of card has a really good combo with this. If I paid one, rested two to give her two K and the ability to uh, put the top card, um, reverse character on top. Because if I do that, I pay two, burn for one, and usually that card will usually, and I will burn the card that I just put on, and then swing for whatever I do. And then for my climaxes, I play six gates. I play six gates as you can see and then I play two plus two souls this is just there for the gates of uh, for the for the salvage and with this card this has the uh, this is for the level two climax combo and then these are just in case I just want to do damage so combos for this deck Usually, the only type of thing that usually saves me is just this trigger climax, choose a character, give it 1k, 
nothing really special. Usually I uh, trigger climax on either my first swing, which really doesn't really matter. Because then I'll just salvage something, won't give her the power since it's like my first turn. Uh, if I have multiples of a card, usually I like to swing with the open slot. Trigger climax, or trigger climax. Give one of these whatever if I have assists, and then they usually run over something. And if not, at least they tied. But if they didn't tie, they're still suiciders. So that is my Kyoko mono red uh, wife of uh, not waifu build, uh, Kyoko Sakura build. I thank you for watching. Uh, tune in next time for something different. I don't know if I'll do more of these, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.